And the Lord said to Moses, In the waste land of Sinai, in the first month of the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, let the children of Israel keep the Passover at its regular time. In the fourteenth day of this month, at evening, you are to keep it at the regular time, and in the way ordered in the law. And Moses gave orders to the children of Israel to keep the Passover. So they kept the Passover in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening, in the waste land of Sinai, as the Lord gave orders to Moses, so the children of Israel did. And there were certain men who were unclean because of a dead body, so that they were not able to keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day, and these men said to him, We have been made unclean by the dead body of a man. Why may we not make the offering of the Lord at the regular time among the children of Israel? And Moses said to them, Do nothing till the Lord gives me directions about you. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the children of Israel, If any one of you or of your families is unclean because of a dead body, or is on a journey far away, still he is to keep the Passover to the Lord. In the second month, on the fourteenth day, in the evening, they are to keep it, taking it with unleavened bread and bitter-tasting plants, nothing of it is to be kept till the morning, and no bone of it is to be broken, they are to keep it by the rules of the Passover. But the man who, not being unclean or on a journey, does not keep the Passover, will be cut off from his people, because he did not make the offering of the Lord at the regular time. His sin will be on him, and if a man from another country is among you and has a desire to keep the Passover to the Lord, let him do as is ordered in the law of the Passover, there is to be the same rule for the man from another nation and for him who had his birth in the land. And on the day when the house was put up, the cloud came down on it, on the tent of witness. And in the evening there was a light like fire over the house till the morning. And so it was at all times, it was covered by the cloud, and by a light as a fire by night. And whenever the cloud was taken up from over the house, then the children of Israel went journeying on. And in the place where the cloud came to rest, there the children of Israel put up their tents. At the order of the Lord the children of Israel went forward. And at the order of the Lord they put up their tents. As long as the cloud was resting on the house, they did not go away from that place. When the cloud was resting on the house for a long time the children of Israel, waiting for the order of the Lord, did not go on. Sometimes the cloud was resting on the house for two or three days. Then, by the order of the Lord, they kept their tents in that place, and when the Lord gave the order they went on. And sometimes the cloud was there only from evening to morning. And when the cloud was taken up in the morning they went on their journey again, or if it was resting there by day and by night, whenever the cloud was taken up they went forward. Or if the cloud came to rest on the house for two days or a month or a year without moving, the children of Israel went on waiting there and did not go on. But whenever it was taken up they went forward on their journey. At the word of the Lord they put up their tents, and at the word of the Lord they went forward on their journey, they kept the orders of the Lord as he gave them by Moses.